here we are back. And I have, let's see if I can show you. Try not to knock the camera again as I get in place. Beauty of the Kromsky, by the way, is that because it's I could fold it up. Yes, this is my living room, and yes, after done, I'm done warping, this will all get put away again, and then I'll be down to one loom, one loom, oh, out and uh, up in the living room. So, counting thread. As you can see, when I turn it sideways, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten segments, which means we will have ten. Um, inches, 10 inches of width for the scarf. I'm going to tie this off. Oh, I gotta stop my cat. Just realized he is playing with one of the elastics I need later. Weaver, buddy. Do I have one of his other toys? I'm not here too. He's not overly happy with me because I wouldn't let him play with the yarn. He's two, I'm training him. Okay, so. We have the counting yarn, and that's secured this segment nicely. And then, because I've just looped this in place, what we want to do is tie off this end so that it will um, keep the tension for the next step. So this one I tend to struggle with a little bit because I don't want to ruin the tension. And Anyway, let's see if I can come up with a way to do this that will be beneficial. Oh, I think I just figured it out. Where are my scissors? No, I don't actually produce, pronounce scissors that way. That. However you can make yourself that loop so that you can have a secure, there we go. Now it is secure on the pegs, right, all the way down. And then we're going to get another contrasting yarn. Note the fuchsia. <laughs> um, and you're going to tie this off in multiple places. Now, it's very specific as to where you want to do these. Uh, we are going to have the cross here, and we're going to do the front of the cross, the back of the cross. So we're going to get our fingers in here. We're going to get in and tie it off here and on the top. And then at each end, and then one more in the middle. This one's already tied off. These ones are pretty secure. We don't have to worry about that. So let's start with the cross. And you're going to untie these later, but so, you know, however you want to do it, you can actually tighten them up so they're nice and secure. I'm a fan of, of keeping your threads secure because it means things will be neater in the end. At least that's the theory. Um, still working on making things nice and neat for myself. There we go. Okay, so there's the cross secured. And there's a reason for that. We're actually going to put these sticks in here um, and we'll talk about what they are after. But um, let's get the ends secured. Okay, I have one more, and remember I said that this is already secure, so I'm just going to wrap it around here so that I have one more point of 
security. Okay. All right. So we now have the war is now laid out. And now we need to transition it from the warping board onto the loom without making a mess. <laughs> so how you take it off the, uh, the warping board is to now grab the end. And I don't mean up here, we want to start at the end. I'm going to slide it off and put your hand inside and we're going to do a chain all the way up, right? So we're going to loosely chain it. As you take it off, knowing that your um, your cross is separated and secured, so you don't have to worry about that, we can then take it off here. And now we have a nice, I know it doesn't look neat, but it is a neat warp, I promise. All right, so next step is going to be to get it in the, um, on the loom, and I will work on that next. I know this is going to be the end of this particular uh, video, and so um, I hope that this has been helpful. If, if you're an experienced weaver and you're seeing this and you see an error, I want to know about it. Um, as, as I said, I'm still just learning, and... Um, the only way I've learned is by watching other weavers online, so um, I'm always interested in learning new stuff and, and getting pointers and making my life easier. Nope, that making my life easier. Um, I love what I do and I'm, I'm having a good time. So um, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put the Kromsky away and I will be back uh, probably in the next day or so. Um, as we get the warp on the loom and that's a pretty involved process so um, we'll get her we'll get her going <laughs> all right we'll talk to you soon